Hey guys, how you doing? Can you all hear me? <clears throat> okay. Right, chat. So, I decided I would do a uh, live chat for the release. Um, it's quite useful to do live chat because I could talk through a few things and um, show you the mod and show you how to install and do all that sort of stuff, answer some questions. So, yeah, uh, please keep the language civil, please, Emran, and um, we'll go from there. So, um, I'm going to share the links shortly. I, I I want to talk through a couple of things before I share the links. And um, otherwise you'll just take the links and go, right? So you, I need to know that you've seen this part. So the first thing is I want to talk about is you're going to have a new version of CM15. And... Um, <clears throat> So here we go. Right, so we've got CM15 update, and this basically is a new version of CM15. And it's really important because this version allows you to do uh, far more than what you could do before. You'll be able to edit the mod and do all that sort of stuff. Uh, some of you got ads waiting. Uh, tell, tell me when the ads finish and I will uh, crack on. So here you will see uh, that you... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having someone at my door. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. So this is, the, this is the mod and what you'll see is you've got new buttons up here. Uh, mostly it affects things like faces so you'll be able to view faces properly and so on um, i'm looking forward to, uh, to getting your feedback on this now the first thing i want to talk about is this is a beta release right so this is not the full um this is not the full release this is uh got lots of things to add so stadiums new faces things like um you know, updated stats like the latest um, squad update from EA, stuff like that. Uh, new boots. So this has got the new boots, but there's even more boots to go in. I think I've got about 3,000 boots uh, from the old pack. And then also some new ones that were sent through to me uh, that need to be added. I've got some new themes and scoreboards. Those are in the beta, but there'll be some new stuff coming in the full release too. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to uh, just say that quickly. Now, with this version, you're going to still have quite a lot of leagues, but there's only one version you'll be able to play in all leagues, uh, apart from the Indian Super League. And that's something that I completely forgot about. So you can play the Indian Super League in the tournament mode, but you won't be able to play it in um, career mode, I'm afraid. But that will be available in the full release. Yeah, you, there's, um, you won't have this version. Uh, so J Mods, you're saying if you have this version, you will not have this version of uh, Creation Master. This version is an update from the original Creation Master. And then Dimitri did a, a version. And then this has been updated since then. So, um, yeah, you won't have this version. This is brand new. Nobody else has got this. Um, other than me, I think. I think I'm the only one who's got it. I might have sent it to a couple of people. 
Uh, so here are the leagues. So we'll just go through those. As you can see, there's sort of single teams. Uh, so some people ask me, like, why are there single teams in single leagues? That's just basically for the European competitions. It helps to ensure that there are no crashes by having them in single leagues like this. Um, you'll see here we've got the Brazil league. So not even in FIFA 23. So that's back in there. The Bundesliga, all three competitions. We've also got the uh, Chile league in here as well. We have um, AFC Richmond, as people were asking about uh, previously. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why people are so mad about this stuff. Then, of course, we've got all the English leagues, the Scottish Premier League. Yeah, and then we've got some of the teams from the Commonwealth and Libertadores and um, Sudamericano and that sort of stuff as well. So you're going to have some of those teams available. Those competitions are available in in career mode which is good uh, now just talking about career mode the career mode should work very very well um, the only issue might be with player career mode I know some people play player career mode um, but I don't so um, I never really test it and so sometimes if there are any issues it might be with that league again here we've got the Chinese league the Northern Ireland Premier League which you may see later on in full uh, we've also got uh, the South Africa Premier League, which I tell you, there, there may be some some of these leagues you may find in later patches are full full uh, with new teams because we've got quite a lot to go into the next one. I can tell you now I've got what leagues have I got? So I've got Greece, I think the Czech Republic, Serbia, the French Division Three. We've got the Japanese League, which will be returning. Uh, obviously, we've got the future icons teams as well, and the youth icons will be added later on in the season. What else have we got? I think as well we might have... I can't think of all the leagues now. There's so many of them. Uh, Egyptian League, I think we've got coming as well. I'll, set, I'll let you know. Uh, the ne Netherlands, uh, second division as well. So there's loads, there's loads more coming, loads more coming. And some of the other teams that aren't available may add it as well. So yeah, we've got the Czech and the Greece. Oh, we've got the Cyprus League as well. Uh, for those of you who are inter internet, uh, interested in international teams, we've got 69 national teams now, which are all playable. Uh, and I hope you enjoy playing with every single one of them. And of course, we have the World Cup mode in tournament mode. So I'll show you that shortly. Uh, this, of course, is the Indian Super League as well. We've got a Jupiler Pro League. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what is that like? That uh, K League. Da, da, da. So all the Spanish leagues again. Back to England. It's so many leagues. It's crazy. We've got the Colombian League as well. Um, so as you can see, lots and lots and lots and lots of leagues. Lots of effort being put in. I'm really looking forward to getting your feedback on this. And um, another thing as well. So I forgot to say these ones. So the English National League, uh, I'll be adding as well. And also I have the English National League North and South Divisions as well. Those are going to be added into the mod later on. So could be a very massive. I'm just trying to work out how that career mode will work. But that would be really cool to go from, you know, like the South league or something all the way up to the premier league that would be really awesome and uh, no the the, uh, the lower leagues are not crashing anymore no austrian leagues hungary england premier league of course we've got the rpl uh, which i need to add to logos there i just noticed two crests uh osnia so Things like that. If you notice things that are missing, like the crests here, let me know. Uh, obviously, I've said about faces, but, um, you know, I, I will add them. I just, they, they're they not added at this moment. Uh, the Cyprus First Division, that's going to be available as well. I think there may be the Croatian, but I need to check that. Um, I'm not doing that one, so it may be available. I don't know. And, of course, we've got the Serie B has returned, which is great. Um, so that's good uh, saved me a bit of time there helped to get this out a little bit earlier Turkish League of course 
Denmark, Romania, you know, look at this. It's, it's unbelievable how many leagues there are, especially when you consider what was available before, what was what was what we could play. Uh, I think we have the Ukraine Premier League as well. I'm sure someone's done that. I need to check that as well. Um, so as you can see, lots and lots of leagues. So really happy with that. Um, yes, yes, uh, it is yours. Um J JLFC2, we do have your uh, Eredivisie, or what is it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, that will be in there. It's going to be in the full release, though. This is just a beta. It's not the beta. Um, yeah, your Emran's always trying to get Bangladesh in the um, in the league uh, into it. So. Yeah, if you send me the Bangladesh Premier League, then yeah, I could probably add it to FIP at some point. Yeah, yeah, do it. You, you've done quite a lot, uh, including your your uh, theme. So let's get going, shall we? Right. So we've been going now for 10 minutes. And I think that um, I think it's time to give you a little bit of a preview of what to expect in the game shall we so let's close off creation master you don't really need to see that so the first thing is is installation is very very simple this year okay so what we what we want to do is in your fifa 14 folder open that up there you're going to unpack this file when you download it and it will open up like this and all you have to do is copy this over. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because there's a couple of things that I need to show you which are not easily explained. So, yes, I did use your Carabag kit, Farid. Um, so you just copy this over it into here and go from there. Now, I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. Now, for this version, I and like I'd say with all of them, make sure you in, like if you want the best possible experience with this mod install from scratch um especially with version 4 unfortunately version 4 had some problems and people kept even though i'd explained how to remove it and it, there were videos to show how to remove the problems people just weren't seeing them and so unfortunately some of the issues you may have with crashes the c plus error those sorts of things if you haven't fixed those things and you just install this over the top, they're going to be there because you have to basically delete certain files. So once that's in there, you're going to be end up with this here. You're going to have the beta version. Now, what you're going to see for some of you who have not uh, played for a while or have been around for a while, you'll remember Modimway. Now, Modimway was supposed to have um, been available uh, a long long time ago but Ariel went missing and we didn't end up collaborating uh, but I have added it back because many people have asked for it now all of these features most of them will not work so I wouldn't worry about these features the only reason I've entered this is for this area here select entrance combination okay and this will add entrance music back into the game now it is older this is from the original modding way mod um, i haven't updated them but you have the classic champions league music and the premier league you've also got the europa europa league music as well and then you've got a couple of others that you may or may not want to select okay so when you enter a game now you'll be able to use that and that's the only ones that, that works all of these other ones are turned off now you can try and select them but they won't they shouldn't actually really do anything all right so the same with the database that's these aren't available look how old this is um but yeah respect to those guys they did a really good job at the, at the time and it's amazing really to think that the mod has gone so much further uh, ahead now uh, after this and we've lost something in Ariel because Ariel knows some things that I think other people just don't know um, so it's a shame that we never got to do a proper collab and I never really got an explanation as to why he disappeared um, okay so that's it so that's great there um, you'll be able to use that the most important thing of course is the first thing you want to do once you've installed you want to go into fit version manager and you want to select the beta beta alp and install that 
Uh, and as you can see here, I've just put an important message here, just so, so you know that, of course, this is a beta release. This is not the full release. So I know I'm, it's going to happen, but please don't, you know, have a go at me because it doesn't have everything that you may see in other mods. Unfortunately, just to explain one last time, I had some real problems with uh, the, the mods graphics. My old laptop uh, completely died on me. It got corrupted. All the hard drives co got corrupted. And unfortunately, all of the images and, and stuff like that were damaged. And what I found was is even in the version 4 release, some of those damaged files were in there as well. They were released. And people kept saying to me, oh, this file is damaged. This is... And when I looked into it, it was because they'd all got corrupted. So I have to rebuild the packs. And unfortunately, it takes a long time. I don't think people realize that you know if you're just doing a few faces at a time it's fine but after a number of years where you've got thousands of faces i think the mod ends up with like twenty five thousand face files overall it's quite difficult to check through them and make sure you've got, I've got the best version you know so real shame real shame but um anyway so you load that in and what's nice now is whatever the last database is that you selected it will show you that so if you ever have a problem and so you have some crashes um just and i say to which version of the mod are you using it should tell you which one that you were using there okay um so that's a nice feature at the moment the boot manager and the glove manager are, are not available in the beta that's because i haven't added the full packs yet but those will be going in very very soon and i'll probably add that I may do like a small update for the beta version as well, just for people, just so that they can have a few extra pieces. Um, and we'll just go from there. So the next thing, what did I else did I want to show you? Oh yeah, FIP. So the other thing, this is a really hidden thing that a lot of people do not seem to um, notice. And I, I've, I've highlighted it a few times in videos, but a lot of the time people don't see them. So if you go into to game FIP mods, you'll see there's an, a, a bunch of extra mods that I've got in here. These have been in here for a long time now, a couple of years now, and um, actually even longer than that. And we have like a new view of, of uh, the camera. I can't even remember. I can't remember even where that came from, to be honest. Um, but somebody sent me that, and that gives you a nice view uh, that's very similar to FIFA 21, I believe. Uh, this difficulty mod, this is amazing, this mod. I, I find a lot of gameplay mods don't really do anything. Like they have a bit of a placebo effect uh, where you think they're doing something they don't. This one definitely does, without a doubt. Enhanced kit, kit wrinkles are amazing. It makes the, the kits just look that little bit more crisp. The weather effects are really, really nice. Uh, it gives like a nice misty rain and also a nice snow effect, which is pretty cool. This is very simple. This will show you stats in career mode for all you cheaters out there. Uh, HPZ Graphics mod the only one I've ever made. Uh, it's a very simple uh, mod where you can just enhance the graphics and brighten it up a little bit. And it's quite nice. It's um, not great. It's my first one. I may do one in the future again to improve it, but it's pretty good. It has like a HDR effect on it. High quality hair render is awesome, especially for those with big hairdos and things like that. It just crisps it up. So if you've got a slightly better machine like I have, you'll be able to use that and it makes a huge difference. Now, this one is a combination between the difficulty mod and a an, an advanced AI mod. This is actually really very good. I still prefer this one on its own, but this one adds some different things, some slightly different physics to the ball and stuff like that. So really worth using. There are other gameplay mods available and um, well worth uh, checking those out. All right. So those were the main things that I wanted to share with you. Now, what I'm going to do now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but in the description, I am now going to drop in the download links uh, for you guys to get it. If you can confirm to me if you can see the download links in the description in a few moments, that would be great. So for you guys who are unpacking the files, uh, the, the download is about 
1.7 gigabytes, but it unpacks at about 18 gigabytes. Okay, so um, yeah, get get downloading. And um, whilst you guys are downloading, I'm going to open up the game and show you some of the features. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, we're going to load up <clears throat> a theme. So let's try out one of the themes, shall we? So of course we'll go for the FIFA theme, FIFA 23 theme by Emran Ahmed. So there we go. Let's install that. Boom. Have some of that. Um, I haven't actually tested this for a while, so I hope it bloody works. Because um, I've just realized. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. And we've also got the tournament. Everything is good there. So let's try that out. And um, let's see what scoreboards have we got. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the ones that Tecla sent me. So FIFA 22. Tecla, let's install those. <clears throat> really need a confirmation for that. Interesting. Okay. Huh. I've not actually tested. I don't think my scoreboard is working. Okay, maybe it doesn't work. Hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Gamer KR195. So there we go. Awesome. Right, I uh, went completely blank there. That's the problem with this. This is why I need to take breaks after um, I do mods because I get very 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 tired and forget where everything is right so finally i just want to regenerate i use um file master to do this bosh So some of you may be thinking, oh God, okay, when you see this, you're not going to be happy because of course some of the faces are missing and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to do a quick bodge job to show you some faces in a minute, but let's get the game going first. So here we go. So that's what it looks like. Uh, nice, I like, like that. Let's go to game settings and we'll, yeah, we'll keep it windowed for now. Uh, play. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Looks really nice. Flags, lovely, lovely. Oh, I need to quit out of this. Uh, 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 okay.
Sorry, I just need to mute the music because I will get. <clears throat> Okay, there you go, it's a nice thing, I'm liking this a lot, um, I haven't really used uh, the theme very often but it looks good, looks really good on the screen actually, very very nice, and of course you can scan in the QR code, uh -huh. right, let's go to game modes, and go to new career, and of course we'll go and play for the mighty arsenal of course now again i will show this piece um here you do not select this in this mod uh leave this unedited otherwise you will not be able to play the game as you wish okay uh don't know that matters because it's just a test so let's just advance here the bars there. Okay. Okay. So this is what uh, the mod looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, let's have a look at the season. We'll have a look at the fixtures. So you'll see here as well, there's certain things that I'm trying to work on uh, where I improve the quality of the logos. So the Premier League looks a bit better, uh, but these ones are the older ones that don't look so good. There's just a bit a bit of um, fragmentation and pixelation in the logos. So um, yeah, I, I just want to improve stuff like that. So little things like that that no one else cares about, that will be done. Now, as you'll see here, so we've got um, the FA Cup, we've got the Carabao Cup, we've got the Super Cup, Champions League, Europa League, and then we've got obviously the International Friendlies, which is a whole bunch of teams this time. Uh, we've got, of course, the Premier League, uh, Europa, Europa Conference League, and that will say TBD until the Champions League and Europa, uh, Europa League have been played. Um, but this is how it will start every season now. So you'll have new teams. It won't be the same. It won't be the same as before. That's just how we had to do it. There's no other way around it. Uh, you had to do it this way, um, and it works really well. I really quite like it because it means that you don't you don't end up playing exactly the same teams. Now I may do a version where it's just the Champions League and the Europa League. Uh, for for other versions of the mod, like the Asian version and the Commonwealth versions, just to save some space in the comp data. Uh, so those versions, you'll be able to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, but this version will um, will be definitely like this. All right, cool. So um, let you. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same as it was. I think I need to work on this mod with you guys and uh, yeah i think i'll work on this I, I want to make the career mode look a bit better maybe do a new menu system for this as well uh, i think i'll do a fip 14 sort of style theme i think uh, so let's have a look so let's go to the squad report so as you can see here you've got all of the stats for the players uh, Gabriel, Zinchenko, Thomas Party, Xhaka, Saka, Martinelli. Oh, what a great team. What a great team. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, Fabio Berdi. So, you know, this is pretty much up to date. Uh, I expect that they'll probably get another update at some point. Um, no doubt about it. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, happy with that and let's have a look at transfers and all that so i'm going to be working on hbz mod uh some of these transfer values i think are going to go a lot higher that's for sure all right so 
yeah let's come out of here uh, so the one thing that people wanted to know was is the World Cup tournament mode so to get to the World Cup tournament mode you go to tournament manager open this up and you'll see here FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 this is beta Uh, so this is a beta version, of course, so not everything is available, uh, but there will be updates and of course this mode will look much better. And I think Emran has confirmed that he is doing a... Um yeah, so the hotfix for Emran's theme should be on this theme, uh, so it should be working. The um, and I, I think he, he I think he's made it um, public that he's also doing a World Cup theme. So that'd be really cool to have a World Cup theme for that. So once you've done that tournament mode, I want to show you one other thing. So when you go into here, right. Uh, yeah, so Steeny, there. Like I've said, there are no faces in this mod, none at all. They're literally none. I I I released the pack a couple of weeks ago. Excuse excuse me. I released back a couple of weeks ago. You can use that pack. Yeah, I'll show you how to install the hidden mods. Yeah. Uh, let me come back to chat for a second. Right. Whoa, 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 who's this King AJ mug talking about bang average team? You want to you wanna keep your noise down, pal? You make nice faces, but it doesn't mean you can come in my chat and give it a large and pal. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, I don't want to do that. Right, so what you should, what should happen here is when you go to go into Korea, it should be locked. And that's how it should always be when you t uh, go into tournament mode. So just bear that in mind. Uh, it should always be like this. And when you go back to it, so it's because career mode will crash basically. And let's go to tournament mode, dosh, new tournament. Now, if you go into, I think it's in Russia, uh, don't ask me why, but that's just where they are. Uh, now this is the problem. Uh, we've having so many teams and so many nations and so many leagues. It takes a little while to navigate through FIFA 14, to be honest. Um, but once you're there, you can have a good time. So let's have a look at the World Cup. And I did actually test with England earlier on, but I'm going to actually test with... Who shall I test with? Now the squads haven't been updated because I finished the mod before all of the squads were released. Uh, so expect an update on this. Um, like I said, maybe I'll do one for the beta, but uh, probably not. We're going to go with the mighty Brazil, shall we? Okay, so what you're going to see here is, of course, there's all of the World Cup teams all of the correct groups and so on very straightforward um, and if we go into a match oh, I forgot I'm on the mouse so I don't play with mouse often, so here we go. So you should ha see that the uh, new cut and new kits are there. Now, as you see, because it's the beta version, I don't have all the numbers. Uh, that's just how it is. I haven't loaded them yet. It's just one of those things. They are available. I just haven't done it yet. Basically, that's just how it is. Right, I'm just going to quickly do this.
Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the World Cup group stage. A pretty dreary, dull old day. So let's go straight to the ground. Here's ah, your face team, issues. Tyler, Why Alan is that Smith. like that? Hi there, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Mm. Alan Smith is with me in the commentary box, and we are okay, really need to fix some referee heads. It looks like. Cup. Oh, well, these two teams have put in an awful lot of hard work to get to this point. I don't want to let themselves down now. It's so weird seeing so few faces. Uh, it, do you know why? It goes to show really how much effort's gone into modding over the years, where you see that so many faces and so many things that have been added that just get taken totally for granted uh, nowadays you know there's literally think about this is FIFA 14 and there's hardly any faces it's crazy really when you think about it um, so squad database date is the 7th of October um, Yeah, you can install it. Do you want? Do you want guys want me to show you what happens if you install the old stuff? I could do that. Uh, just put it straight onto uh, install it directly onto a new version of. FIFA. Right, let's get past this. So I think it looks really, really quite nice. It's the kickoff in the group stage. Their first match. Yeah, a lot at stake and a lot of preparation gone into it. Should be a good one. This. Close range chance. There we go. So that you can see why I'm a modder <laughs> and uh, not a player because I don't know what I'm doing at all. Anyway, let's come out of here. Right, let's close off the game, shall we? And I will show you. Right, so let me just go into here. I'm going to do a quick bodge job for you guys uh, to show you what you can do. So in the scene assets folder, you can replace certain things. So the first thing is, is obviously you guys notice how few faces there actually were in game. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to this pack here and see if let's see if we can improve that a little bit. Okay, and of course, regenerate. Man, I, <laughs> I, I do you know what? I am a noob at FIFA 14. I've got like 4,000 hours or something, but it's all modding. Like, I don't play the game that much. Uh, but I'm definitely going to play it later. I might actually take a break for a few days from modding and do like a, a bit of a career mode or something for a little while and just chill uh, and then maybe come back to doing some uh, modding at the weekend. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's uh, get the game back up again. Uh, are you got, have you guys, anyone installed the game yet? Has anyone installed the mod yet? I, I can see some comments about it. Um... Yes, indeed. Thank you, Emran. Really, really good theme. It did, did a really, really good job. I'm really happy of how it's turned out. Um, so, let's see now. <laughs> yeah I wouldn't be anyone on keyboard and bloody mouse that's for sure I'm a controller guy that is for sure right let's have a look at some faces shall we let's go to um, uh, where should I go to we'll go to Spain so we'll see oh it takes a while doesn't it I remember someone kept moaning at me because there were too many leagues. 
just like, give me a break, you know, like, people get really upset about some really small things. Okay, so now, we, now that's looking better. A couple of nice faces in there. Of course, I don't have any of the... Um, I need to do that now. I need to do that. Let's play this match. Now, of course, because I had some corrupted files, I am worried, as I show you this, that we may have some uh, some crashes. But fingers crossed, Hello should be good. Because um, I've checked quite a lot of these faces now. It's El Clasico. It's Barcelona. Version four. These so are version four faces. We're off to the new camp, and your commentary team of Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello, everybody. I'm yeah, you Martin can regenerate with CM15 if Welcome you want to. to yeah. No, I didn't install your soundtrack mod. The reason I didn't install your soundtrack mod is because um, I, I don't mess with the sound files really. To be honest with you, um, it's just I just don't bother doing it. If people want to do it, they can, of course, but I don't. Seems to at times boil down to Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi, doesn't it? And all the individual awards, they're they're always invariably the top two when they come around, and that to have two such fantastic players, you know, in in matches that are El Clasicos as they're known, even without. Em, Renny, you asked me to add. This is basically the light version of the of the mod with no stadiums. This is it. Like if you want one with no stadiums, this is the one. Like it's a good mod if you add your own faces, and some more graphics, all that sort of stuff. It's a really really good mod. Uh, for that sort of stuff really 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 worth doing right so let's have a look at some faces shall we so as you can see now now that I've um, installed some faces um, he doesn't have a face does he that's a rubbish face if that's one of them he doesn't have a face oh there we go there we go beautiful beautiful I think I did that face myself there we go Looking beautiful, of course. Nice. Loving the texture detail as well. Uh -huh. Very nice. FIFA 14 is not the best looking FIFA, I have to say, but that is not looking too bad, is it? Um, I do have some updates actually on faces. I've got some PC faces to... Um, add from older versions of the game so we're going to have even higher quality faces and so on coming up Lewandowski looks like a beast always looks like a beast there we go looking good Courtois Beard looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it, chaps? Yeah. As you can see, very high quality faces. Looking good, isn't it? Alaba. What a player Alaba is, by the way. Oh no, who's this player without a face? I don't know who that is, number 18. What's it on that? What's it on names on the back? Need to look at that. Okay, don't know who that is. Ah, the old school Madrid. So there you go. So you can just install the faces and they look great, you know. So yeah, give it give it a go, you know. Uh, I think there are, I've obviously got the FIFA 23 pack that I uploaded. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how you install it. So that's all you really need to do, really, with a beta. Is if you have faces, if you have some files, some graphic files you want to install, uh, you could just go ahead and do so. You know, um, that's the beauty of it, really. And I imagine that a lot of modders are going to um, steal this mod and uh, so on. So I don't know why the referees have got this face, but I will fix it. This is definitely a database issue. Uh, but I'll get that fixed and look at that beautiful ball. How good does that look? The high, it looks so good in high resolution um, So yeah, very happy with that and um, I'm really looking forward to doing the boot packs as well So 
That's a really nice ball this season, don't you think? Really nice ball. All right, I'm going to quit out of that. How long have we been on? So, nearly 45 minutes now. So, let's go have a little chat with chat. And um, then I think I'm going to log off. Right, so... <laughs> Sandeep, uh, those who play FIFA with a mouse should be locked up immediately. Uh, yeah, I agree. This is only while I'm doing the, the live. I do play with a controller normally, uh, but it, it needed to be done. Um, <laughs> what else have we got? Uh, what did you think of the way the faces look? Looked awesome, didn't they? Uh, to what they did. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, it's one of those four. Version 4? Why are you installing version 4 for? Install this version. Now, if you install version 4, of course, you'll be able to... Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let's hide that. Da, da, da. Uh, thank you very much, Gus Rodriguez. Uh, version four was a really good mod. It's just unfortunate that there were a couple of bugs that really ruined it. You know, which is um. So yeah, so look, Jay, like I I just didn't put the kit numbers on there. It's just one of those things. It happens. You know, uh, they just like I just did with the faces. You could just copy the face, it's copy uh, jersey fonts over, um, and they'll be in there later. It's just one of those things, mate. You know, like there's so much that has to be done. I think I think that people don't seem to understand that these things take a long time to do. I did the kits just yesterday, and it took me two days just to do the kits. Like it's it's a very time-consuming piece of work, and um, this is why these YouTubers steal my mod because they wait until I've done it. Like you wait until you see this mod. This mod will be available elsewhere soon, you know, because that's what people do. And they just take take all of the work and then start uploading it um, and then calling it their own, which is really sucks, man. So so some of this is the problem when it with um, language i guess is that i can't stress this enough this is a beta version of the mod this is a new version of the mod it's it's designed to be installed from scratch you can put like i just did there you can put all of the faces on there all of the tattoos from the old mod can also have i put them in the mod no i haven't so all of the tattoos can be added all of that stuff can just be added all right so um it's just one of the things like you you gotta gotta understand this stuff guys you know um show came for team a 20 year old face i i i'm not gonna no, i'm not gonna do that and did the version four ch -ch -ch. Yeah, I'm not showing everything here. Man, I'm not doing it. Uh, install stadiums. No, you can't install stadiums. That's the one thing you can't do. I mean, you you can install them. It's just that you have to uh, you have to update the career mode files, and you also need to update the database as well. And some people just can't do that. And I'm not going to explain how to do it. You know, people are going to need to learn how to do this stuff. Let me install this beta version over the previous. You can install over the previous version if you want to. Um, and if you do that, then you won't have the problem with the faces and stuff like that. Like a lot of stuff will just automatically be available. Uh, but uh, just be aware that any of the issues that you had previously with crashes and dodgy faces, things like that, they will be still in version 4. So just bear that in mind. Okay, and that's why, you know, that's one of the reasons why when I, when whenever me and Scouts are release mods we always ask people to install on a clean version because you just you don't want old versions to introduce new bugs uh into the to a version that doesn't actually have them um da, 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 yeah all of them tashi is so bad yeah tash yeah it's a bit annoying what tashi did to be honest with you but i i at this point i i no longer care i just release it like these videos are much better than not do them live and just go um 
yeah <laughs> just not worth it um anyway hold on one second one second i'll be back in one sec I don't understand the question, Raphael Lorenzo, about Bulgaria. Um, they, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Like they, they just, just one of those teams. Like their, their, their coefficient rate rating is high enough where they get into the World Cup. I guess I don't know why. Classic patch is an awesome patch, I have to say. It's a really, really good patch uh, for players. Real, yeah. The, the 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 market rates are pretty good. Very, you're going to get some very high transfer fees, all that sort of stuff. I'm doing a new version of HBZ mod. That might be the first. Do you know what? That might be the first thing that I do. I might actually do that, and then I'll do the new leagues. I think. Yeah. Let me see. I'll talk to Scouser about it first. See what he's doing. Because I think he wants to release his mod soon. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Tashi's PC will randomly fix itself. Well, <laughs> well, what's Tashi said? As he said that his, his PC's not working. That's why he can't do mod updates. That's funny. Uh, new face files you gave us. Does it have all new faces? Uh, it has just the FIFA 23 faces. Yeah. Um, and I've got an update to run. I just need to send some, uh, some script updates to Dimitri uh, before I do that, though. Uh, Sentry goes to Tassi. <laughs> uh, what password? The password is in the description. Right, so if you have a good face pack, play a face collection. Uh, then keep your head headed face folders inside exactly so the one thing that's really important is when you're modding is to understand the structure so do you want me do you know what let me do that before i cut out let's uh understand the structure so here is outside the game folder and this is where i just put some files which really help um to you know describe what it is that you're doing so you've got the readme here and this is really simple just to tell you what's in the beta version and what updates are available and of course uh, any issues so if you do have some issues uh, you'll be able to see them here one of them that is added here is Papa John's which has been removed this will explain briefly how the tools work as well and you've also got some notes here about the mod and how how it's worked and what's expected then of course the instructions of how to install um, yep now and there's a frequently asked questions section as well which is really important uh, this explains some detail uh, of course all the support links and then of course the all important credit list and i just want to show this because this is the credit list as it is today this this will actually be updated uh, but there are so many people uh, that have contributed to this mod and i think it's really important that everybody uh, gets to to see that um, they are actually credited and they are respected and really 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 appreciate all of their input you know so really thank you very much and then of course there's a copyright because i don't like it when people steal the mod all right so that's the first thing there the other thing is uh, this is a nice little mod, by the way. If you double click on this file, it will activate summer and winter balls. So if you've got script to activate winter balls, that's just the, that means that you've got the summer balls. But if you click the winter balls, things like, you know, like the Premier League has a different ball that the Liga, Ligue 1 has a different ball as well later on in the season. You can just click on that and that ball will be available. I normally sort of play career mode. And then when I get to like November, I just double click on that and then I go in and then those balls are available without me having to do anything. And then when I come to sort of spring again, that's when I put the summer balls back. Uh, so that's that's that. Now, this is the structure file. So in this area here inside the game file, 
you've got all of the software there. This is what controls all of the extra options that you have and what you want to use. So version manager, tournament manager, all that sort of stuff. This is where the original game files are all stored inside these big files. Um, and then now you've got the FIP folder. And a FIP is obviously specifically for this mod. And in here, like I showed earlier, you've got the mods folder here. And just like somebody asked, so if I wanted to like install one of these, all you do is double click on it here and you'll get an installer come in and you literally just browse to your, uh, where are we? Browse to, where are we, where are we? This PC. It's Windows, I didn't get to, EA Games, FIFA 14, okay, and say okay. All right, so this goes there, and then you just click Extract, and it's done, all right? And then when you go back to the FIFA 14 folder, you should see that you have this here, Delete Hair Render. So if you don't like the effect, you could just double click on that, and it'll get rid of it. And that's it, that's really simple. That's how you mod do those. It's just a simple installation, it's very, very straightforward. Um, I, I tend to go quickly past these things because th these are things that most of us should know what to do. Uh, so let's show the other structures. This is where all the scoreboards are. If you want to add new scoreboards, make a new folder. Uh, if they're just the scoreboards, then put an SB at the front. If they're pop-ups, then put SB plus P PU. That's just really helpful just so that you know what's actually installed. And as you can see, there's loads, you know, there's a lot of stuff. And then inside there, you'll have an overlays folder, and that's where all of the files go. So if you want to put in your own version of scoreboards, then just do that. Put them in there. Easy peasy. Uh, the next thing is, now the comp data on is not really worth you seeing, but this just basically shows you. So when you open up the tournament manager, it shows you these different options where you can delete delete files and add extra tournaments, that sort of stuff. That's what these are for. And then, of course, you've got the World Cup. So when you go to the World Cup mode and it says FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, that's what that is. So that's all really what that comp data is for. So if you ever mess anything up, you should be able to retrieve it by going into tournament mode. Themes, this is where all the themes are stored. So you can see there's the older themes that I've created, the old modern way theme as well, MRAN's themes, and of course the default theme there. Now, because I don't like using the themes all the time, I'm just gonna double click on the script theme cleaner and that will return my game to as it was previously. Very straightforward. And then finally in here is the version folder. Now, as you can see, I've got lots of different versions of the beta. This is the main file that you guys will have. And in here, you'll have some notes which tell you what you can and can't do with the mod. Um, you'll also have in here the database and the lock. So if, you, if anything ever goes wrong, you can always just reload the database. And of course you can save um, I won't show you how to do that. Sometimes you just got to have a little play and find out. So the next thing you have to do, now this is the DLC folders. Now in the DLC folders, really straightforward. This is where everything that is to do with playing career mode is in here. So things like transfer values and, and also your job offers and, and board, really straightforward. So if you, the main CM settings are in here. So if you want to try and change something, that's where you would go and so on. They're really quite straightforward. Obviously, if you don't speak English as your first language, you may need to do, use Google Translate, but you can update the files in here. Really worth doing, really valuable. And uh, just so you know, certain files are very, very much needed. So because I have 69 teams, so I have to have 69 of these in here because I'm going to have extra leagues. I have to have all the leagues in here. So you need to, these are all the little details that that are really hard to explain to people when talking about modding the game. Um, but as you can see here, look, I've got all of the stadiums for Euro and the World Cup as well. So lots and lots of detail in there. And then these are the main comp data files. This is what you'll see in Creation Master 15. Uh, with the new version of CM15, most of the files, um, you can now open and save it. And you'll probably be okay in um, career mode now. So that's really good. Uh, we've been able to make some changes so CM15 doesn't completely destroy this folder. Um, so yeah, that's where it is. And then real schedules usually go in here, but um, we've not been doing that for a while now.
uh, but maybe maybe later in the season we could do it but it just doesn't happen so the final thing is the data folder now this is the main area where most people where other modders this is where other modders put stuff and then claim that they're them the modders right so um in the scene assets folder is where you put faces ball files stadium files boots uh, tournament files trophies the wipe folders ad boards accessories everything you can think of go in this folder and they're very straightforward they all have really straightforward names so faces obviously are the face textures hair is where the hair textures and the hair model is the hair lod which is obviously the the lower res version you've got body which will have things like skin types and also things like uh tattoos and stuff like that in there you've got the ball files which makes sense and you've got normal ball files here and then you've got some revolution mod versions of ball files which are here um and these just make sure that you you're using the right ball um when you're playing in certain leagues so that's really straightforward that's all you really need to know is when you want to add files if you say to me oh where do i put faces well they're going here okay and then when it comes to crests and things like that so you would have seen that some of my crests are missing um they go into image assets here so they go in there they get saved in this file here and you've got also the mini kits going here uh, which i don't know if anyone remembers i don't remember ever needing mini kits uh, but we de definitely need them in fifa 16 all of the mini head files are in here as well as you can see we've got a bundle of them there's nearly 61,000 uh, mini head files uh, all up to date and you should shouldn't be any dodgy ones really so really happy with how that folder's looking um what else the league logos as well now you will start seeing as i start to replace with higher quality versions you will start seeing that you won't be able to preview them anymore and they start looking like this uh, so just bear that in mind that there may be times when there will be a time actually where you will not be able to see all of these logos without being able to open them up that's just how it's going to be um, it's just so that the quality can be increased you know so there you go so lots and lots i've got to do here but uh, that's the whole thing really is trying to make the mod as good as pof possible these are just the trophy previews of all the new trophies uh, i will be adding in new trophies later on but they caused the crash in version 4 so i've removed them for the time being and i need to come back and look at them uh, again um, the last folder here is you've got the ball image file, files in here and then of course all your country flags stuff like that so that's where stuff generally goes i hope that helps out people who don't really know um where things go all right yeah king age is right if you have a good face pack anywhere um you know keep it D -d -d bro cut the second graded <laughs> shots fired okay play nice in chat please uh our champions league matches working i had that problem in the latest version yes champions league matches are definitely working uh please show the process of installing updated sim 15. uh it's really straightforward you open up the old version and you drop it on top like literally just do that and you'll be fine um there's really no process to it you just open it and play man just go uh, okay da -da -da. Okay. No, there aren't patches like this for. Um, there might be. Toke does similar patch like this for FIFA 11, and I might send him some files actually, so he can finish do one this year. No, I'm not going to include your stadium pack because I need to. I, I like doing my own stadium pack because I've got. Um, the reason why is because people people spend time on leagues and things like that. So the guy who's done the Serbian league, for example, has sent me 
all of his um, all of the stadiums and stuff. So I need to make room and make sure that they can play. You know, the people when they put in that amount of effort to do do the leagues, do all the faces, do all the kits and all that, you got to try and give them something back. You know, like uh, it's the same with like the French third division. This guy's been wanting me to get the his league in there for two years now, I think. And I just, I never get around to doing it. Uh, so I'm making sure that happens. So yeah, I appreciate that you, you're, you want me to put your stadium pack, but your stadium pack's basically mine with a few extra stadiums, if I remember. No, the, the players won't have heads like the referee. You've just seen them. They just they have generic faces. So that's what's happened. Um, <clears throat> what's all with the spamming, dude? Yeah, you're right. They were used in that. I never really played foot, so I didn't really use this, the kits. Yeah, the face pack, if you want the face pack from before, just go into the community thread on my YouTube page and you'll be able to see them. Uh, yes, install this on a fresh version and then add faces and done. Exactly that. Comment of the day by Emmanuel uh, Imwali uh, or Imwela. Uh, so should I install this on a fresh FIFA 14 and add faces and done? Pretty much, my friend. Boom. And unfortunately, you did spam after that. But at least, you know, that's a bit. Yes, and uh, Sandeep has answered the question from before. Please don't spam. Please stop, 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 stop. <laughs> uh, where are the players? I, I saw there was World Cup 98 patch for FIFA 11, but didn't have it because Classic Patch 14 had it and much more already. Yeah, Classic Patch is amazing. It's like I, I um I've considered doing like a classic patch type thing, and actually I can make classic patch work with FIP to be honest if I really wanted to, um, and it might be something that I speak to them about where you say look if you want to use this because they use a very basic way of installing all the classic patch stuff, and you could just use FIP version manager to do all that stuff. It make a huge difference to that mod to be honest. <laughs> yes, correct. L Luan, uh, yes, the FIFA twenty three face pack is in my community post. Go to my YouTube channel. Scroll down the community posts and you will see that I uploaded the FIFA 23 face pack for FIFA 14. Be aware that there's a 14 version and a 16 version. Download the 14 version. <clears throat> Guys, please calm down. Relax. I've shown you how to fix the faces. And that's it. Okay, cool. So... Yes, face packs will. So the green and blue faces are usually because there's maybe a, a missing face, but sometimes it's because the database, uh, like it is with the referees, the database is pointing somewhere else. Um, I think it might be either sideburns or it might be a facial hair color or something like that. That's what's causing it. So I just need to check that. Okay. Uh, I think because I just joined this channel today, I found you from Tashi's videos. Uh, asking you, you found me what did Tashi actually uh, basically say I'm sorry I stole his mod please go and check out his channel I bloody hope so hey, I play FIFA 14 with crowds disabled but Scarf is still showing how can I disable it Um, I don't know I'll find out King King AJ I will find out how you disable uh, Scarf because I actually don't know off the top of my head how you do it could probably do it in revolution mod, actually. Uh, remove scarves or something like that. Have a, if you've got revolution mod, have a look through the documentation. I think it's in there. It will tell you how to do it. But I don't remember how to do it off the top of my head. Are jersey glitch number going to be fixed? 
Yeah, they will be. Yeah, I just haven't added them. Like, if you want to look, I'll show you. Let me show you now. So people keep moaning about things like that. Let me just go back and I will show you right now how they'll be fixed. So if you go into where we go, so FIFA 14 game data scene assets. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this and I'll put that in there. OK. And I'm going to regenerate. And some of these numbers should now be updated. Not all of them, but some of them. And while I'm at it, I might as well show you some kits and stuff. Uh, before I go, what time is it? Okay, yeah, I can do until six, I suppose. Yes, you can import so like this. Look. So I've just done that. So what? not all of them will be available, but some of them should be. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So you see now kit numbers are now there. Okay. I know it's really simple. I just forgot to add them. And what was the... We just looked at Spain, didn't we? So uh, let's go to Spain. Because uh, I know that they were missing as well. These should be here. Uh, 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 definitely missing. There we go. Looking lovely. Beautiful. See, so it's really straightforward, you know. It's um, nothing to get stressed about. Just one of those things, you know. Um, while we're here, let's have a look at some of the international teams. And some of the new kits. So we've got who's qualified. So we have Brazil, we've already seen. Uh, Cameroon. And... England as well, haven't we? Let's have a look at England. So we've got Cameroon. Well, that's a shame they haven't updated that kit. That's really rubbish. Uh, so I'll get that kit updated. Uh, but we have got the England kit updated, which is nice. Looks pretty good, actually. Quite like it. Uh, who else have we got? So Canada have also I've got Germany as well. So Canada look like theirs has been updated. Germany looks pretty sweet, I have to say. Number will be updated, I think. Uh, who else have qualified? We've got, I um, can't remember who's qualified now. Denmark, I think, have qualified. Ghana are qualified. Um, so there we go. So we've got, nice, looks good. And Ghana. I really like African kits, man. They always do something a bit odd, you know. Um, and also, we've got France, of course. And Iran are in there. So, let's see if they've updated that kit. There we go. France, home kit. Yeah, nice. Very nice. That's actually really nice, actually. And Iran kit looks pretty good. I like that, actually. It's nice. So there you go. So, um, that's some of the kits. Palermo kits, Italian Serie B, all right. Palermo. So this is home kit, the away kit, and went away. There you go, what do you think? Quite like that myself, I have to say. Really quite nice. Looks really nice on this screen, actually. I, think the I hope the graphics are coming along looking pretty good because it looks pretty good. 
Um, right, let me just have a look at some of these comments. So that's how you fix it. It's really straightforward. Yeah, so nothing's lost. You don't need to worry. Um, well, yeah, so Steenie, so what happened was is I called Tashi out on this bullshit basically um, recently and just said, look, man, you've been using my mod. He didn't try to deny it. Um, I showed him, it, it, like, they can't deny it. I know that they use it. Like, I create it from scratch, as you can see here. Um, so I, I know what they've used. I know every single piece of it. Uh, and, and you know everything that I touch is like everything from faces shoes boots anything you can possibly think of I, I edit everything so I know everything that's in the game uh, so when people steal stuff I just know that it's mine um, but the thing is I don't mind that people share the mod I don't it's just when they don't give any credit you know because as you saw a credit list is so long so many people put effort into this mod it just annoys me that these people just don't care really really gets on my nerves and it really annoys me when they pretend that they haven't taken it and what annoys me even more is what happens sometimes is someone else will say for example they'll come across tashi like luan said they'll come across tashi as the first person they find they'll take that mod and they'll share it and then that, so then it's been stolen twice then do you know what I mean and people I remember people were having a go at me when I first said to people stop sharing my mod without giving credit and people were saying to me oh it's not your mod it's like really but people I think people do know now but some of the people that steal it are much much larger YouTube channels than me and I've just got to a point I can't be bothered arguing with them anymore um, you know I'm done with it I know that I do it and that's all that matters really uh, but yeah, so Tashi is only, if he's giving recognition now, he wasn't before. Uh, can I port kit numbers? Yes, I'll just show you how to do that. Thank you. Um, enjoy your night shift. Um, it's trash compared to 314, right? I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I, when you see them side by side, you can see that they are better overall. But now there's certain things about the new games that just aren't, isn't very good. Um... Jay wants to see the Arsenal kits. I'll show you in a minute, Jay, because you're always in my mod. Always, always modding my Discord. And so let's go and show you that. And someone else also asked for... Where am I going? And someone else asked for Tunisia. I can't remember if I've updated Tunisia or not. I think I have. There you go. So that's the Arsenal kit. Um, and you just, just do Liga Argentina. How Boca Juniors? All right, I'll show Boca in a minute. Uh, can you show classic special teams, Harry? Uh, I haven't got any classic special teams. Um, I I don't have them on here really. Um, they're not available. Uh, it's, by the way, I don't like the colour of the kit, the Arsenal kit. Um, it's not this colour in real life, it's a more of a pink. So I think I might update the FIFA 23 colour and change it to a more pink colour. Um, and this is Tunisia. I really like that pattern. I need to. Uh, is that how it's supposed to look, that number? I don't think so. I think that's wrong, isn't it? That's the wrong way around. Okay, need to fix that. But this is a great thing. When I show you guys and see things that are wrong, it's quite nice. A man in a glitty kit. No, I'm not showing that on my channel. What's the matter with you? Uh, Basic test kits. Now you all want to see kits, man. All right, you've got 10 minutes of my time, and then I am gone. Yeah, it's just when I say it's... Yeah, look, look, at the end of the day, this is the first time I've released, released the 2023 pitch, so, patch. So if other people are releasing them early, that's fine. You know, I, I just, do you know what? The, the other thing is as well, I just feel that people were cheated as well. Like I, there was, um, over the years, I've seen people release stuff. They do all these YouTube videos and the buddy was one of them as well to a certain extent. The buddy was always respectful, always shared. But like I'd look at the updates and IMS Studios do this as well. And they'll update like a couple of kits and then release it and it's like a big and they say they never tell you what they've updated they just release it and i really don't like that i really don't like that they 
it's such low effort you know what they do um it really bothers me but um that's i don't want to i don't want to get into all that right now <laughs> i want to keep it was here and you can please make that jersey font of kit numbers add them as well no i am not doing that i am not uploading all the other stuff um i'm not gonna do that i'm sorry my friend i just i you know i i i don't like splitting up the files so um let's have a look man united there we go so that's chelsea's kit i quite like their away kit that's quite quite all right actually and then man united's kit man united's kit just looks old like every time it comes out it just looks crap <laughs> it really does um but yeah there you go who are, what else do people want to see away kit yeah away kit is pretty decent i don't know what teams uh they're in creation center league uh, Creation Centre League is just Soccer World and um, I'll show you. Uh, I can't remember what's under C, isn't it? Yeah, it's under C. So you've got Richmond and we've got Soccer Aid and that's it. So that's Richmond FC, Banta mate, Banta, and then Soccer Aid, which I think is the same kit from last season actually. Uh, but of course, with the new faces, you'll be able to see them. Uh, da -da -da. And icons are in prison. Yeah. So, th so the other foot icons team isn't in here yet. Hey, thank you for all your job on the mods. It's really amazing work. I want to ask you to show us the kits uh, of the best club of the world, aka okay, Chelsea, because you already did. <laughs> yeah, very funny, my friend, very funny. Um, Morocco kits uh, and Argentina. All right, let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Morocco, I think, might be out of date, I think. So Morocco, that's the kits that we've got from Morocco, I, can't, I don't know if they are new, and this is the Argentina kits, another kit that just looks old, but actually I quite like the texture, it's got quite a nice texture going on there, I quite like that, and um, well that's horrible, but that is nice classic kit Argentina unlike the Man United one which just looks old and awful the Argentina kit that looks slick actually I think if I play in a World Cup or something uh, I do an international I might play as Argentina because I actually really think that is a mustard kit mate uh, okay is there yes yes he is come on download patch we'll download it then <laughs> uh, suggestion a modern world 11 team in the X update based on 5th pro world 11 2021 squad do you know what there is um, there is a chance that I might do like a pro teams type thing of some players who have recently retired and do that rather than like a new world 11 because the world 11 I, you know these are just these things take a long time so Harry what is VAR 1 2 and 3 so VAR 1 and 2 and 3 are the different versions of icon faces so say for example you've got Del Piero where he's got long hair in one and short hair in another uh, you've got other ones where they look older and younger as well like Tierra Marie has hair and then you've got shaved hair uh, you've got some that, that don't have any. You've got Beckham where he's got loads of different styles, you know, from these younger sort of curtains look to like the older um, tattooed version and stuff like that. So that's what those versions are for. And what I've done in the past is I've tried to include different versions in the patch. And that's the thing. When This is the other thing that people don't realise. Because you have these prime, these young and so on, what happens is people don't realise I have to spend time 
getting those versions into the patch and change IDs and do all this sort of stuff so you can have the youth icons as well as also be able to play Soccer Aid for example as well people don't understand that uh, so yeah um, that's it when the Soccer Aid kits will get added after the charity game gets played yeah probably probably um, I don't know when the charity game is played actually um, please stop swearing Emran um, otherwise I'll ban you <laughs> um, how about the OG Classic 11 you removed it you know the ones with uh, no I haven't removed it they're in there they are in there uh, just the old um, old kits nothing special uh, keep those and of course we've got um, Classic 11 and we've also got the World 11 as well which I don't know who's in the team actually the World 11 I think populates itself let's see what happens when I select them because I haven't done that for a long time there we go so that's it the old kits I need to update them I haven't done that um, let's see so we've got Adidas All-Stars and MLS All-Stars as well we've got Adidas All-Stars and MLS All-Stars which unfortunately are very similar looking kits um, so those are those as well okay uh, okay, I'll have a, yeah, we'll have a look at in. So while we're at it, we'll have a look at Juventus. Or did someone say Napoli? They did, didn't they? Napoli and... Oh, what am I doing? my ABCs internationally so you got Napoli very nice I swear they look so much last like, like last season so this is Inter's away kit with the world map on it it's rubbish home kit looks kind of cool actually I must admit very it's a bit like their new logo it's kind of very different but kind of nice kind of nice a shit bucket and white stain fc are not in the mod uh would you release tu4 faces tu4 faces what are tu4 oh title update four faces yeah like i said i just got to um send dimitri some script updates um and then i'll do it Arsenal jersey looks so crap, man. Your mum. I um, think you should put this live in announcement since I can't do it because a lot of people will miss good information. Uh, yeah, that's fine, man. Look, people ain't going to watch this video. What is it? It's over an hour and a half long now. You know, it's like pulling teeth, these videos. Uh, well, I mean, as a pool of players who are above 83 overall, it always uh, changes once you reset squads. Yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. There's a rare chance which you can get Messi and Ronaldo at once in same World Eleven. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Carers. I don't know. Are we carers? I heard the mod. I would time you. <laughs> uh, actually, thank you very much. Napoli season fire. Yeah. Uh, your mum. That's right. Exactly. And we're going to end on your mum. Anyway, all of you, go and enjoy the mod. Uh, give me lots of feedback, please. Um, the best place to give me feedback is probably in the community thread or on this video actually is probably the best place um, I'm expecting lots and lots of comments about stadiums and faces I'm not going to reply to those but if you have anything that, which crashes or if you have anything that just looks a bit odd and you think I should know a bit like the referee faces like that shouldn't be like that let me know uh, but other than that um, enjoy it I'm going to go and play it I think and um, I'm out of here. Thank you very much. Look after yourselves. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.